Okay, welcome to my channel. Just wanted to clarify one thing about the side cases. Some people have said they're not able to get uh, their helmets inside these cases. So I have three helmets and I'll tell you the sizes, makes and brands that I have found no problem to fit into these cases. Okay, I want to introduce you to the three helmets. We're going to try fitting inside the case here. The first one is a Senna uh, Outrush. This is an extra large. Might be a little bit cheating because the extra large is the um, the largest size that they make, so that means it's probably the largest inside with the smallest outside. But anyway, Senna Outrush. And the, the Senna helmet is my main helmet right now. The second helmet we're gonna look at is the an HJC C17. Now that does not have the internal visor, uh, and this is a large. Uh, felt a little bit small and tight for me, although it's getting better after like seven years. It's finally breaking in So that's the HJC C17 size large And finally We have an LSJ LS2 I'm Trying to remember the model Something of 56. I'll put it on the screen So this is a three-quarter face helmet, and I'm pretty sure we won't have any trouble fitting that one on here, but just for fun, because that's the only three helmets that I own, we'll be setting, trying to put that in here. Okay, so stay tuned as we try this out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna draw your attention to, I've dialed up the exposure a little bit here, is this ridge that lies on here. And I find it easier to put the bike on this side because the bike is leaning that way, so it does fall out quite as fast. But we're gonna utilize the straps and we're gonna utilize that to create a plane that the helmet sits in and we're going to put the chin towards the back and it should it does work the same on the other side but this side is easier because it's already leaning that way when it's on the side stand and before you watch me struggle with these straps so you'll notice there's a little uh, indentation here and so this goes from the back side and that way this sits flat so it's not going to give us any trouble that this is sitting all crooked if you put it in from the other side then it never sits flat so that might also play a role while some why some people are having troubles fitting helmets in here and we'll see about this thing maybe we want this loose okay so let's start with the easiest one first so as i said we had that ledge here we're going to set it so this corner is just above that ledge and we're going to put this guy so that that channel is pointing down. I think it works best that way. This one will be easy. I could just stick it in there and not even lock it. But So that's sitting nice and flat. And no problem whatsoever. Okay, so here we have the CL17. It's a large helmet. Same thing. We are going to place it so that this bridge is sitting just on top of that ledge. All right. And we want this, everything sitting nice and flat, will be organized so the channel is towards the helmet. Lock it in there, nice and tight. Now, feels like I'm pushing it just a little bit, but no problem. Just a little bit of pressure sitting on there. No, maybe not. Okay. And finally, finally we have the Senna Extra Large, my newest, greatest helmet. Chin to the back, this thing sitting right on top of that ledge. So, channel to the back. Sitting nice and flat, these things are out of the way. That one fits even, in even easier than the HJ's. C helmet. If I had a HJC extra large, which I did a long time ago, it would be interesting to see if it fit or not. But there you go. We can fit three helmets. So there you go. Three helmets that we can fit into the factory luggage on the Triumph Tiger Sport 660. Thanks for watching.
watching my channel. You can subscribe if you like. So you'll be uh, stay tuned to watch more videos that I make about things that are interesting to me and hopefully interesting to you. Thank you for watching.